Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design. Now, today we're going to be reviewing the Implatex air compressor. This is the 850 watt version with the 35 litre tank. And if you can see on the sign here, this is a silent air compressor. It's not completely silent, but it is very, very low noise. So I've been using this air compressor for about two months now. I bought it primarily for the CNC so I can use uh, air blast and also some mist coolant with it. So I wasn't really too sure if this was going to be powerful enough, if the, the tank was going to be big enough, um, but I've actually been pleasantly surprised. I think that 35 litre is probably the lowest that you should go for. I, I would have preferred a, a 50 litre or even a 100 litre, but as you can see, I'm doing this in my utility room. I don't really have a lot of space for this. I really like the vertical design of it. Um, you can get different versions of these type of air compressors. Some have a more of a horizontal uh, tank. Some have more of a vertical tank with the motor just on top. So this is really nice because I can just stick it into the corner and it just doesn't take up a lot of space basically. I'm just gonna read off some specs about this compressor. So it's 850 watt, it's got a 35 liter tank. Um, it's able to produce 150 liters per minute. Now, Implatex on their website, they do actually give you a chart of the CFM to the PSI rating. This is really important because a lot of these cheaper air compressors, they say that they're able to produce a lot of air, but if you do your research, you'll see that that's at specific uh, PSI ratings. Now, they've kind of done the same thing here. On their website, they say it's 150 liters per minute. If you look at the chart, that's a kind of like, I think, below one PSI, which you're not really gonna be using anything at one PSI. For air blast and for coolant, you're probably looking at around, I've been using one to two PSI, and the litre per minute does drop off quite a bit there. The tank is powder coated on the inside and outside, which is very important because it obviously helps to stop uh, rust, which can obviously just degrade the tank and it's less likely to get leaks in it and exploding and things like that. It's got some big chunky rubber feet on the bottom to obviously help to absorb the vibrations and the motor is mounted on top of the tank and it's also got four rubber feet to help reduce the vibrations. It's approximately 30 kilograms. It's got two handles here. You can lift it. I mean, I can move this around. I can pick it up, put it onto the counter. 30 kilograms isn't gonna to be too much of a problem for most people, I think. Now the noise level is rated at 50 to 55 decibel. We're gonna be doing some tests to see how quiet it really is. I think it's a little bit louder than that, but I'm pleasantly surprised how quiet this is. Um, you can easily have a conversation when it's running. It doesn't disturb the neighbors. You go into another room, you can hardly hear it. So. Overall, I would say that it is very, very quiet, but we will be doing tests later in the review. It's an oil-free motor as well, so you don't need to faff around with, with changing oils and things like that. Uh, if, if you read online, you'll see that some people prefer oil motors because they supposedly last longer, um, but I've been told that the oil-free motors, the way that they're designed nowadays is they're pretty similar in terms of their longevity. So you don't really need to worry about it being oil-free. If anything, it's a good thing, so it just means one less thing to maintain. Installation is very easy. There are about four things you need to screw in. It's just this air filter here, and there's these two dials, and I think that's actually it, and just whatever connector you're gonna use uh, on the outlet here. It does come with a set of connectors as well, which is really helpful. I've just gone with a push fit connector here, so that then I can use the uh, air coolant pipe, and then when I'm not using that, I can pull it out, and I've also just got an, an air gun that's also just got a push fit connector on it, so I can easily connect them. I was pleasantly surprised with the, with the quality of the fittings as well. Uh, this is a this is a Ludecky. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's made in Germany. This isn't just some you know cheap thing from China. So this is just a quick lock. So overall, I'm really happy with with the quality of the product overall and the accessories that you get. It's got an automatic shutdown when it reaches eight bar and then it will automatically kick back in when it reaches six bar. So you're always kind of moving between eight bar and six bar. So the first test we're gonna do is just to see how long it takes to fill up the tank to full. I've got a stopwatch here. Uh, I'm gonna just keep on recording so you can get an idea of how the, the sounds as well as it is running. It is slightly louder when you first turn it on, 
but then once once some of the valves close automatically it becomes much much quiet as you will hear so let's uh, do the test so you can hear it running now i'm going to try not to speak louder so you can hear how loud it is so you can see the vibrations as well you can see my phone is vibrating just a little bit but apart from that yeah really not too bad okay so it's just gone one minute and we are at four bars so we're about halfway there we're just coming up to two minutes now and we are at just coming up to seven bar okay so that was two minutes and 37 seconds to fill the tank up to full you can see that we're now at eight bar now one of the things that I liked about uh, this Implatex brand, and it's what you'll notice that maybe some of the, the cheaper silent air compressors don't have, is it's got a pretty nice big fan here. I think this is like a 120 mil fan, like a big CPU fan basically. It's just positioned underneath the motor here, and essentially it helps to just keep this thing cooler which means that you can run it for longer, which is always a benefit for having, you know, something like this with a small tank. The motor will be running more because you don't have as much air storage. So having a little fan like that, just to help to keep it cooler, it really does help. In a quiet room, you can see that we're at about 24 decibel. When I speak, we peak at around 70 decibel. I've got the phone sound meter about one meter away from the compressor here. So let's turn it on and see what we get. So as you can hopefully hear, it's pretty quiet. We was hovering around the mid 60 decibel range there while it was running. And that was with the sound meter you know, quite close to the compressor. If you've got it down in the corner of a room or even if you've got it in another room, you're not even gonna hear it. Next, we're gonna do some tests on the duty cycle of this air compressor. Now this is really important, especially for these smaller machines because basically you can't run a compressor 100% of the time. The motor, does get hot once it's running and it needs time to cool off and that is essentially the duty cycle. Now most of these silent compressors they have a duty cycle of around about 50%. So that is you know if you run it for five minutes you then need to let it uh, cool down for five minutes. I can actually find any documentation on the duty cycle of the Implatex. I guess because it really does depend on the temperature. You know, if you are in a cold environment, it's going to take much longer for the motor to get hot enough where it needs to actually shut down. I've been using this compressor on certain jobs where I've been machining for 30 minutes and it's just been running on and off, on and off for 30 minutes and I haven't had any problems. It's not got to a temperature where the, where the motor actually just shuts off. So I've not actually been able to push it to the point where there is any sort of kind of protection in the motor that kicks in, which is definitely a good thing. But what I wanna do is I just wanna kind of give an example use case of what you can expect from this compressor. Now, when I'm using the coolant on my CNC, I'm usually running it between one and two bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the tank to eight bar. I'm gonna set my outlet regulator to, let's put it to 1.5 bar, which I think is probably about average. We'll turn it on and we'll let it run down until it gets to six bar. And then we will time it to see how long it takes to fill back up to eight bar. And we'll see what kind of duty cycle we get with those parameters. So hopefully you can see that it's yeah it's a quality air compressor and it's it's nice and quiet and it is able to output enough air to run a single nozzle uh, pushing coolant through it for someone like me a hobby machinist who's doing this on a small CNC this is usable definitely uh, as I said I I would have liked a, a fifty liter 
the price does jump up to, I think it's 700 euros for the, for the next step up in the Implitex, um, which would have been really nice. I'm sure that would have suited me much better, but yeah, 700 euros is a bit too much to be spending on a compressor for me. The only negative that I've got for this, I'm probably being a bit harsh here, is that there were no instructions in English. And it's a German brand, so the instructions are in German. I can't really fault them for that, but you know, they're selling it on, on Amazon UK, which is where I bought it from, they're gonna get UK customers and I don't know why they don't just provide some instructions in English. This is the first compressor I've owned. Uh, I was a bit wary about putting things together and how things should be you know, installed and you know, just ge general maintenance as well, you know, keeping these things working in order. It, it would be nice to just get just a brief rundown in English. Now, Implatex, have actually been very helpful on WhatsApp. They do respond very quickly to messages that I ask them. And also if you look on their website and also on Amazon and other places, you'll see that they get really highly rated for their customer service. People saying that they've had, you know, little things go wrong, they send them out for free next day and things like that. So their customer service seems to be really good. And it's, you know, nice to support brands that concentrate on customer service because it is a very nice thing to see. So, so one other thing as well um, that did get me a little bit worried, but again, I sent them a message, they replied to me straight away on WhatsApp, is that you should, you should drain the tank because obviously it does get water inside of it. You want to drain it you know, once a week. The first time I did it, and also the second time I did it, I was really worried because the water, the color of it that come out was orange. So I was thinking, oh God, you know, it's rusted inside. Have I maybe not drained it uh, soon enough? I sent them a message, sent them a picture showing the colored water, and they replied and they said, it's rusty because there is some still abrasive spheres left inside. The tank itself has an inside coating. I don't know exactly what still abrasive spheres are. Maybe it's something left over from drilling or maybe it's just something that's meant to be in there. Now that I've drained it the third and fourth time, so every single week I just I just drain it, the color is now clear. So that, you know, it got me worried to start off with, but it seems to, to not be a problem anymore. I mean, overall, I'm very, very happy with this compressor. I'm glad that I, I finally made the dive into using air of my CNC. Um, I did talk about it in my previous video, but it really does help to uh, mill aluminium much better. Um, you get much more quality cuts, especially if you can use coolant with it. So you can help with that, um, that lubrication, reducing that friction and keeping your tools cool as well. You know, it just helps with tool life, helps with the finish. It does allow you to actually push your machine a little bit harder. You can do more aggressive cuts. You can do cuts that you, you, know, you just wouldn't be able to do. Like for instance, I was boring uh, with a three mil single flue end mill, a, a 25 mil deep pocket you know i would not have been able to have done that operation without using air and coolant i would highly recommend you know investing in some sort of air if you're doing this in a garage or a shed outside then you can obviously get away with using a a normal compressor not one that is rated for silent i would still recommend silent compressors normal compressors are so loud if you listen to some of them run i mean they you know they peak at like 98 decibel which is just ridiculous um, this you can have running all day. It's not going to damage your hearing. It's not going to annoy neighbours. So if that gives you some information on what to expect from, from this air compressor, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, if you've got any questions, if you're confused about maybe what type of compressor you need or you know any sort of beginner questions aimed at with the CNC and coolant and stuff like that, uh, I can certainly help you out. Feel free to ask any questions. But that is it for today. I will catch you all later.